What is going on internet? Jay's Two Cents here, and today's video is sponsored by HP. And they sent me their new Color LaserJet Pro M477 to check out and see exactly what all the hubbub is about. Now, if you've already gotten this far into the video, you're probably thinking, what the heck, Jay, a printer video? I mean, are you just trying to copy Wendell or what? Of course I'm copying Wendell. That dude's smart. But when I was approached by HP uh, and asked if I wanted to check out the printer, I really wanted to check this out for a couple of reasons. One, as I mentioned sort of in the home workspace tour video that you guys can check out on the card that's gonna pop out here, I mentioned that I'm now working entirely from home and I didn't have a printer. And standard home grade printers that are designed more for like photo printing or maybe some documents, just don't cut it with the amount of paper I still use. Now, yeah, we live in a digital age, but a lot of businesses are still relying on paper and the printer is not going anywhere for quite some time. Now, as some of you may know, I worked in IT for nearly 10 years and there was nothing more frustrating than dealing with printer issues, which is why the idea of reviewing a printer that is new and is supposed to be extremely stable and extremely easy to use and very user friendly, so you don't end up bashing the thing to death, kind of like the scene in office space. So I really was interested and taking this thing uh, you know, for a test bin and seeing exactly how well it performs. Now there's actually three models to this printer. I am taking a look at the FNW and it's got some pretty neat features in here, uh, but we're gonna be kind of going through a setup, seeing how easy it connects to the network. You can even do uh, printing from your mobile device, which is a huge deal. When I worked in IT, we used uh, mobile printers actually by HP with hundreds of end users using HP ePrint to print out documents and stuff that we were supplying customers in the field. So we had field support that we were doing in IT and uh, it was a big deal to have software that was stable. So I'm really excited to see that HP over all of the years have stuck with HP ePrint and continued to evolve. Um, we'll talk about HP ePrint and how it integrates with this guy uh, a little bit in the video. But there's a lot of subject matter that we could get into when it comes to a printer. So I'm kind of going to take a workflow here through the review of the things that interest me. Now, obviously, this video can't be all encompassing. Otherwise, it would be like four hours long to try and cover every little bit of features in here. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to put it on the desk and kind of get it off my little display here. Uh, we're going to set it up to the network. We're going to see how easy that works. I'm going to try and do it completely wirelessly, although it does hook up to an Ethernet uh, and it does have wireless connectivity. But let's say you wanna put this in a room that doesn't have ethernet, obviously wireless is going to be uh, you know, a very bonus feature, especially if you don't have ethernet in all of your rooms, which is kinda of nice too in small businesses. If you are leasing or renting a space that doesn't have ethernet in every single room, the last thing you wanna do is pay to run ethernet there when it can do it wirelessly. So let's go ahead and take a look at the display and get into the setup and talk about some of the features. So let's take a quick tour around the exterior. And as you can see with my hands right here, I don't have a banana, sorry for reference guys. You can see that this is a very compact design, but don't let it size fool you. It is very, very powerful. Starting on the top right here is the adjustable feed tray for your double-sided copier, which is a very, very nice feature. And then underneath that, you do have the lift up here for the scan bed, uh, which actually has an glass that goes all the way to the edge, which makes sliding your paper off of the scan bed really easy. Color touchscreen display makes interacting with the printer very, very simple. This is what we're gonna do next when we do the setup and show you how that works. Underneath the touchscreen display right here, there is a USB dongle and you can use that uh, to actually print from USB and scan and save to USB. So you don't even have to have a computer hooked up to this to save your documents. So, I mean, yeah, you can email it to yourself. You can fax it to yourself. Uh, but the nice thing is that you could just on the go quick put in a USB drive. You can print your Word documents from there and you can also scan and save your documents onto USB as well. And then right here in the bottom, this is where uh, you feed your ream of paper. Now I think one of the most frustrating things about dealing with printers is changing the ink or toner. Usually it's just a complete pain in the butt and nobody ever looks forward to having to do it. Well, the M477 is very, very simple. It's got a button right here. You push, the door opens up, move that down, grab the blue handle, pull it back and access all of your toners. Remember there are four toner cartridges in here because you have black, yellow, magenta and cayenne. That's how you're able to get all of that amazing print quality for LaserJet that does all the color and did an amazing job at printing some picture quality. You'll, you'll see that it was absolutely stunning for being a laser jet. Now moving around to the back of the unit, this is your phone line jack. This is gonna be for faxing. It also has a hand, handset port. 
Um, so that's where you're going to be plugging in your fax line if you are still using a fax and not using a fax over internet. From top to bottom here, it is a USB 2.0 port for connecting your USB devices. It has a Firewire port and then of course the Ethernet. And then rounding off the walk around, we have the access port right here for paper jam clearing. Uh, this is actually a big deal because clearing paper jams, which you know will happen over time, uh, can sometimes be just completely annoying depending on how deep you have to dig into the printer. But HP did a fantastic job right here of making all of the rollers easily accessible uh, by simply opening up this back door, clearing your paper, and then closing it back up and you're ready to go. Now LaserJet has come a long way over the years uh, where LaserJet used to only be black. And LaserJet was awesome because it fed and it printed very, very fast, but it had the trade-off of not having color. Well, HP actually uses four toners in this particular model uh, so you can get colors. So you've got your black, your cayenne, your magenta, and your yellow. And those toners are actually rated up to 1,200 pages uh, per toner before you actually have to change those. Now the print speed on this is actually advertised for black at 28 pages per minute or just over two seconds per page. It's actually pretty damn fast and it's rated up to 50,000 prints per month. So you can see that this is seriously designed for some heavy duty print work. Now the paper tray here holds 250 sheets of standard weight paper. Now I'm using the HP Ultra White. It is a 20 pound paper weight. So obviously the amount of paper that can be held down there is going to depend entirely on um, you know, the weight of the paper that you are using. But it's pretty easy. You just slide it on in there, set this guy up against there and close it. Now clearly I am not connected to the wireless. So let's go ahead and see how hard that is. So you got Wi-Fi direct connect. So that'd be uh, directly connecting to any of your wireless devices like your phones or your tablets. Wireless network. Um, well, I guess I touched it, I didn't realize I did. So we can see our status is off. So let's go ahead and connect using the wireless setup wizard. Um, it located my wireless right there. It doesn't look like it uses five gigahertz. So it's a 2.4 gigahertz wireless radio built in here. And uh, I guess I have to go ahead and put in my password. Sorry guys. You, you don't get to know that. The touchscreen is really responsive. I like it. It's unlike some touchscreens where when you touch it, it's a little bit of a delay, delay or lag from when it registers, um, but it, it actually does a pretty good job. And you can see it connected wirelessly with absolutely no problems. Now HP ePrint works on pretty much all your major platforms. I'm using the iOS version right here. I am connected to the internet and now we have to go ahead and find our printer. So I haven't done anything except launch the app as you can see, we found our printer immediately with our IP address for the printer, and there it is. Now what's neat about the HP ePrint software with this printer is you can actually print stuff directly from your email. Um, you can put in your email information here and pull documents straight from your email. So you don't even have to you know, save it to iBooks or anything like that. It all works directly from here. You can access your cloud directly from the web, uh, but you can even access your photo roll and print photos from this guy. Now this is a laser jet printer, so I don't know how well the photo quality would be. Obviously that's not its main objective, but we'll, we'll print a color photo too to see, you know, just how well it actually does. Now, even though this isn't a photo printer, I want to go ahead and try and print a photo. I'm just curious as to how it's going to look. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and print this awesome picture of this Z. Yeah, guys, you know me, I'm obsessed with Z's. Um, but it also has an all-in-one remote app. That's cool. You should try that later. So it got the printer, uh, it got the paper in the spooler pretty quickly and it's actually already printing. So it's only been a couple of seconds. And obviously that's going to work anywhere from within the network. Wow. For a laser jet on regular paper, that's really not bad. Holy heck. Uh, wow. Man. Okay, I'm impressed. Now taking a look at the display here, obviously there's a lot of different things you can do. You can copy, scan, um, you can see the print jobs that are on the USB drive on the USB drive right here. This is how you access those print jobs. You can send a traditional fax. Um, you can also see the contents of the USB drive supplies. So you can see what apps are available on here. Um, enable the web service, print to the terms of use, okay. 
So let's go ahead and print the terms of use. What's kind of neat about that is printing it is your way of accepting it. Now the manage button is where you can find more apps and download it directly from the internet since we are connected to the internet here. Private print, you can actually set up a uh, password or a passcode so that you can do private printing from here. So if this is in a shared space and you don't want other people being able to access your print jobs, let's say you work with sensitive documents, you do accounting or something like that, you can actually lock those documents. And then of course, scan to email. That's probably the one I use the most often, uh, especially like right now I have to scan tax documents, uh, at least last year's taxes, and that's like 20 pages or something like that. And I don't, I was like, how am I gonna do that? Well now obviously I can scan it and email it, which is, one of the reasons why I wanted a printer like this. And then of course, under your setup, you've got all sorts of stuff here. You can see printer reports, self-diagnostics. If you're having a problem, it'll check itself out. Set up a fax if you actually have a fax number and stuff. System setup, service, network, quick forms, things that you can print. So for instance, let's say you are out of like lined paper for your kid to use for homework. Well, you can say, let's go ahead and print, um, I don't know, child rule. Let's print some child rule network paper right here or uh, you know, writing paper, let's just do, let's do five copies. Now let's check the speed of this. Let's do 10 copies, bam. Print us some papers for our kids to use. This is really neat actually, especially with little Jay. She's always running out of school paper. So as you can see, it is printing us, if you can see that, look at that. Isn't that neat? It is printing us child rule paper right there. So it's got the, the line specifically that a child would use and we printed 10 pages of that. It's coming out pretty fast. Look how fast that prints. It's one of the things I've always loved about laser jets, just how fast they are. So as you can see, there we go. We have just printed out child rule. I mean, you can even do graph paper. You can even make yourself a checklist. Uh, let's see, one column, two column. Let's do a two column checklist here. Let's just do one copy to see what that looks like. The wife's always giving me honeydews. I have a feeling now the honeydew list is gonna be a lot more common since now she can literally just print out the checklist. Thanks, HP. Now, one thing I wanna point out here is just how incredibly even this prints and how fine this prints. I wanna see if I can even get, get in here, but look at how fine that is and how even it is. It's perfectly straight, as you can see by the, the edges up here on the top. It's not crooked, it didn't feed crooked at all. That is actually very impressive on the print quality. Now, HP says it's got a very fast uh, copy bed. So let's go ahead and test that. Let's see just how fast this thing will actually copy. So let's do, um, we'll do color because we do have a color picture in there. I'm curious as, how, as to how well it's going to work. And then let's just go ahead and say go. Color. And it will also do two-sided copy as well. So if you had double-sided paper, it will recognize that there's stuff on both sides and you can tell it what to do with that. You can actually take both sides of that and split it onto separate papers or have it also print the same way that it was being fed. So if it was double-sided, it would actually go ahead and do it double-sided. So there we go. It looks just as good as the original. So the original is on the right. The new one is on the left. In fact, it's actually probably slightly darker, but it's perfectly clean. It doesn't look blotchy or anything like that. All right, one last test before final thoughts. Let's see how well the color scanner works on here. Do home and copy, color. There is the copy and there is the original. So it's maybe slightly lighter on just a little bit, but man, for a copy, holy hell. I wish we had this when I was working in IT. Our, our printer sucked. So obviously the LaserJet has come a long way. In fact, one of the last times I owned a LaserJet was years ago and it literally was nothing more than blazing fast black and white text copying and printing. It couldn't do the level of color, detailed copying and scanning and printing that this is achieving. So HP has definitely really taken the LaserJet a long way. But what I really love about the M477 is it does exactly what I need a printer to do. Not only take my paper and make more paper by copying, scanning, and printing stuff from digital format, but it takes stuff that's in paper format and makes it digital. And I can send it into the cloud, I can send it to Google Drive, I can digital fax it, email it, everything a big, expensive, giant, bulky, constantly breaking down industrial grade printer right here in this tiny little form factor that fits right here on my desk. Now this is gonna be permanently residing down in the tech center area of the house that I built. Well, I guess I didn't build it, but I dubbed it the tech center area. And it's gonna be easily accessible for, via our phones and our laptops and stuff. 
And that's exactly what I needed in a printer. Something that was simple, not too noisy once it's done printing. Uh, the fan in there just pretty much kicks off. It's not super noisy. Um, and it doesn't put off a ton of heat, actually. This thing has been on for about an hour now. It takes longer to shoot these videos than I think people realize. But I've been doing test prints and stuff, learning how to use it and trying to show you guys you know, some of the basics here. But it didn't throw a ton of heat off into the room. The door is closed. It could get hot in here very quickly, but that wasn't the case. Yeah, when it was printing, you could certainly smell that fresh printer smell, um, but it didn't linger and it's not really, uh, you know, it's not intrusive. So I'm very, very impressed with this printer. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different, but believe it or not, this is something that is a big deal to me. And if it's a big deal to me, it's a video that I'm going to do. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even accepted uh, the sponsorship for this video. So tell me what you guys think. If you work in IT, speak up in the comments. I'm curious as to how many people watching this are interested in a very versatile, very flexible, very powerful small form factor printer like this. Um, it's weighty, it's 48 pounds, but as you can see right here, it's not really all that big which makes it really easy to uh, fit anywhere in a tight space that you might not have uh, you know, a lot of room for a big printer. This is something you definitely need to consider. Anyway guys, time to go. Thanks for watching today's video. Let me know what you thought. And as always, I will see you in the next Jay's Two Cents video.